Hello everyone and welcome to this Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the controls right here so that when you first load up into the simulator you will know how to set up things nice and easily to get flying as soon as possible. A lot of presets have already been defined. For instance, my Logitech Extreme 3D Pro already had a profile in there. If you want to switch between profiles, you just need to press these left or right buttons. Uh, depending on how many you have, this might take a while to go through. I just have two. This is the default one that was set for my joystick. As soon as you change anything, it is going to change the profile. So you can have multiple profiles if you'd like, but I find just having one additional one in addition to the default is nice and easy for me. However, others will not be supported from the beginning. My pedals did not have any assignments when I first loaded up the simulator and I needed to do it myself. When you first load up, regardless of what control you're in, your filter is going to be set to assigned. This is important to know because if you need to search something by name in order to change the controls, then you're gonna need to switch out of this. You can go from assigned to all to essentials. All covers every single control here. So if you click on miscellaneous, there's a bunch that go down here and the drop down menus are rather intuitive. Uh, so it's really easy to navigate around the control menu if you need to get something, but you're not exactly sure what the name is. That becomes even easier when you enter essentials mode because then it, it brings up the essential controls, which I find Microsoft has done a really great job on um, from the get-go. This allows you to get set up really, really easily. So let's assign a control. Let's say that I want to set up my brakes. So I have switched to all. I have nothing set for brakes. If I search up brakes right here, I do have parking brakes set right there. Now it brings up all the brake options. So it, it brings up this menu right here. Alternatively, of course, I could go into all right here, get exit out of miscellaneous right there and all of these things. And then I can simply go to brakes right here and this brings up all my brake controls. So in order to set up a control, you're gonna click on this box right here. This is your primary control and this is your secondary. You can have two and you can have them across multiple different things. For instance, there is already one set for the keyboard. However, I'm not gonna be using that that much. You click here and then you can either search your input or you can click on this and then I'm going to press the button that I would like my brakes to be set to. That's joystick button one. I'm not actually going to set it right now because I already have brakes set on my rudder pedals but you click that and then you click validate and then once you click validate then it is going to set that control right there. If you have something already set there, it's going to mention it right here. It's going to tell you exactly what it is. You don't need to worry about remembering this though. So let's say that you want to set something to a new button, but it's already set to something based off of the default settings. All you need to do is press search by input and then click that button and it will tell you everything that it's already set to. So for instance, if I didn't want it to toggle the smart camera as at the same time that it was toggling the brakes, I can just press this clear current input like that, press validate, and then it's as good as gone. The thing you'll probably need the most is right here, flight control surfaces. You press that, then you can choose between primary, secondary, and control trimming sur surfaces right here, and everything is right here. It's all super easy, and there aren't a bunch of random controls in there that you need to learn how to use. So that was a quick look at the control system. As I said, it's really easy to understand and it's really easy to search things. Microsoft has done a really good job making sure that the names all make sense as well. I know when I was first starting X-Plane, I had issues with that because some of the names just did not make sense for what I was actually controlling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. If you have any questions about the control system, leave a comment below. And if you would like to see more videos from Threshold, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys in the next video.